Y'all want to see the best feeling in the world? <laughs> Let's see. If it falls, it falls. That's the risk I'm willing to take. I don't remember the last time I actually coded with y'all, but today, this morning, I have the YouTube leaderboard structure done. <laughs> it's not really that that much going on here, but basically this morning, the main goal is to be able to have all the information in the app in order to create the leaderboard. Right now, right now I, I have this information, so this is just a JSON file. This is an example of the comment data that we're working with in order to, to create the YouTube leaderboard. But I, I have this in here as a JSON file. What I what I want to do is open it up as something like in, in MongoDB. Ah uh, yes, I tried to hack my camera. Didn't really work out too well. You see, I want to store the information in MongoDB, pull it from MongoDB into my app and be able to display it. So I put together a schema. I'm not even sure if the schema is right. Uh, there we go. So it looks like we have pull, successfully pulled all of the information that is in our database. That actually leads me to believe that this JSON to Mongo schema may actually work. So if I come in here, copy and I paste it into here. It doesn't have nearly as much information. However, if I take this out, it still displays that. So what if I come in here? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, I don't care. What if I come in here and I throw that in there? Well, I can take out that and that. Okay. And it's struggling. Oh, uh, wait. What? So you're telling me that this schema does the same as this schema? It, this just formats it slightly differently? Oh lordy. All right, so literally all I had to do was take this JSON data, right? Throw it into the JSON, transform.tools, JSON to mongoose. And it had this very simple Mongo schema, which I was skeptical of because this is so much JSON data. I'm not even just talking about every comment, but like we have all of this and this is all that we needed in order to gather the data. I like the simplicity. I just wish I would have known that. Plus I went through and I deleted all these different quotation marks. So I did it like this, like this, because in the documentation, that's how it was laid out right here. There are no quotes. I'm like, oh, there can't be any quotes in here. So let's just make it look like this. Well, it turns out it doesn't matter. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I know. Now I am an ex expert program. Wait, I haven't explained what the project is. Okay, let me explain what the project is with some nice visual references. But if you want to see like a really solid video going over and explaining kind of like the origin story of uh, project engagement, I'm gonna link it up here. Ken G's channel. He's a data scientist. He's a project manager on the project. Check out his video because it's really good, really well laid out, and it gives you a whole idea of what we're gonna be doing. But I'll explain it too, just not as well. The project I'm talking about is Project Engagement. A more accurate description or name for it would be a YouTube leaderboard. It already has a life of its own over on Ken G's channel, where he kind of put this together using Streamlit, as well as pulling data from his YouTube channel in order to create this YouTube leaderboard that is based on the amount of interactions each of his viewers has with this channel. So amount of comments, amount of likes on the comment, amount of replies on the comment, these add up to engagement points. And the person at the end of each month with the most engagement points gets something from a sponsor. This could be from HP, this could be from Linode, that's my sponsor, or any other company really. The only problem, well, 
I should probably let Ken show you a little bit about the big problem with it. Let's check on the current standings. Oh no. Um, well, uh, um. And not only is it prone to errors, but it's not scalable. He had this idea of bringing me on and bringing another data science YouTuber, Tina Huang, on in order to build this into an actual web application. Now, I'm the software engineer on the team, Tina's the data scientist, and while Ken is also a data scientist, he is acting as a project manager. So as the sole software engineer, I am building out the application itself. I'll let them get all the data and worry about that. The idea to scale the app is to use it on more channels than just Ken's in an easier fashion. So ideally, if I was a YouTuber, I'd be able to come on, log in with my Google credentials, and my leaderboard would populate because we're using the YouTube API to pull the comment data in order to formulate the leaderboard with engagement points and their audience. I don't know how this will work on someone like uh, Mr. Beast. He has a crazy amount of uh, comments, but if that bridge comes, We'll, we'll figure out how to cross it. We'll start off by us three using it on our YouTube channels and then have a few beta testers go along with us and be able to use it for free. And then we would like to be able to turn this into a business where it could really benefit the YouTuber because they're getting more engagement on their videos. The viewer, because not only are they engaging with the creator as they normally would, but they now have the potential to win prizes. And then the sponsor, because they are able to get their product in front of other people just like a sponsor would normally work. There are a few problems to address. What about people spamming in the comments? Well, we are gonna be implementing a, a filter feature. And that's about it. There are a few more things, like I can show you the mockups here. Um, I'm hosting it on Linode. I'm actually teamed up with Linode. So if y'all wanna sign up for Linode and get a $100 free credit, although I think they offer that to everybody, but I'd greatly appreciate it if you use a link in the description to sign up to Linode there. We'll set it up in a future video. And on these videos, know that it's not gonna be five weeks worth of work in a single video or anything like that. I just want just really carry y'all along and make it feel like you're a part of this project. It's not open source, but it'll also give you a sneak peek of eh, what it's kind of like working as a software engineer on a development team like I laid out in the beginning of the video. Which also reminds me, click the bell to get notified because I keep getting comments on every single one of my videos. Oh, it's good to have you back, Forrest. I upload a video just about every single week, so I'm not going anywhere. So either YouTube is messing me up or I just need to do better thumbnails and stuff like that. So click the bell to make sure that you get notified whenever I upload a video. I think that's all I have to say. Thank you.